Okay. What else we do? Uh, we've got a uh, cottage van uh, online. So this is where I share um, all my shenanigans. Um, so uh, live and work in Japan, and I kind of like sharing my daily life uh, in Japan. So I take a camera uh, pretty much wherever I go. When I go to the toilet, I kind of leave it outside just in case I accidentally take a picture. And it's got this Wi-Fi card, which means it get uploaded to the internet like by accident. That would be like really bad. So I, I tend to like leave it outside the toilet. But apart from that, I take the camera everywhere. So if I go to the doctors, uh, if I get like a driver's license, uh, if I go to like throw rubbish, uh, garbage, then um, then I kind of like document all that, so you can see what things I've done. Uh, this is our new website, uh, which is designed in very recently uh, to make it look even more confusing. So, uh, which makes generates more clicks because people don't know where things are. And um, so it's kind of like looking quite nice. It's going to be responsive uh, very soon. So responsive layout in the web means that when you resize the browser, all the content will kind of like uh, resize to the size of your mobile phone or whatever. Uh, but we're working on that right now. So Culture Japan, it's uh, basically a place for me to um, share uh, my passion for Japan and anything that I like, really. Um, like if I get a new phone, I'll review it, uh, or whatever, whatever. So uh, I think one of the important things that has uh, enabled me to be in a position to like, meet so many people is because I've been like sharing uh, my work um, online. So uh, we have my like, two like, cosplayers down here, Marita, and Angie, and they've been like sharing their stuff online. And um, when you start sharing stuff, especially stuff that you really love, you really start to connect with lots of people around the world, and um, things just like uh, flow from there. So, if you like something, please share it. Minai Chan, she's my favorite mascot. She is my favorite mascot, and she's um, she's really cute. I think she's kind of cute. And um, so, I'd like to talk about some developments uh, I've been. Uh, doing in the Mirai Tsunaga world. So Mirai Tsunaga, she's a... Uh, uh, I didn't really know how popular she was until last... Um, last, last, last... November, at the Anime Festival Asia. So Anime Festival Asia Singapore is the first place uh, where we actually had a booth um, selling stuff. And uh, we had like queues and queues of people like, lining up for um, her goodies. And so it wasn't until then um, when I realized how many people liked her. And then, so we've done a few times in Asia, and uh, so we thought, okay, so she's popular in Asia, uh, but how about the US? And then we had an event at, um, in Los Angeles called Anime Expo. So this is America's uh, largest and longest standing uh, anime event, uh, Anime Expo. Uh, it's held in Los Angeles every July. And we had a booth there, and uh, we had like, lots of um, folks queuing up. And it's a four day event. And um, by the second day, we had to think of how to redo our booth because there's nothing to sell anymore. So we just put lots of tables and we had like, lots of people playing with kind of. So uh, we discovered that she was uh, quite popular in the US as well. So uh, we've been doing quite a lot of these events for a while and we will be uh, traveling the world, uh, Europe. I think we're in Europe um, in mm, April. Uh, I think we're in Switzerland. And uh, we'll be like doing some more uh, booth stuff. So Mirai, uh, she has a story uh, called Mirai Millennium. So I haven't been working on this for a long time because I've been like focusing on like other bits and pieces. Um, but um, I've been trying to like do bits of it in my spare time. So uh, we have uh, new characters. This girl over here, all right. So she, uh, we kind of designed her at the end of the last year. Her name was, uh, what's her name? Chitose. Shirasawa, she kind of like works in the laboratory uh, with AG, and because we couldn't think of a name for, for a very long time, we, we needed to call the file or something, so we called it, what do you call it? Whitehairrory.jp. Okay. So, uh, so that's what her name was uh, for a very long time. So we've got uh, more characters. Uh, this is, what's her name? Kisna Yumeno. So she is actually Mirai's rival, all right? So, um, rival, and uh, she has uh, big eyes, as you can see, uh, big uh, blue eyes, as you can see over here. And uh, she has a little chibi character over here. 
And this is uh, one done very recently by Sheila Hanet Now Sensei. And that poster is going to be available um, at um, our booth over there. So this story, uh, I've been working at um, for a while in Japan. And it's with um, a very popular anime writer. And um, I can't quite mention his name right now. Uh, but I can show you some bits and pieces. So we came up with a new character called Genjitsu. So these are the bad folks, and they kind of like seep out, um, seep out from like fishes in time, and they do bad things. And the Solar Marines, it's their job to uh, get rid of these Genjitsu within 15 minutes. Because within 15 minutes, if they don't get rid of them in 15 minutes, they kind of like upgrade. Uh, they upgrade like this. And then it becomes Genjutsu 2.0. And if they stay long for another 15 minutes, then it becomes bad because they upgrade. And they become like this, uh, which is generally not good. But I'll be like talking about um, these Genjutsu more when I can reveal more um, about the story. Okay. And uh, here are some uh, very rough uh, sketches uh, from the story over here. So, a lot of you may have uh, heard about, uh, have you heard of these titles? Eureka 7, it's kind of cool, right? It's kind of cool, yeah? Ghost in the Shell, it's kind of cool. Cowboy People, I think that's cool. In of the East, it's kind of cool. Now, I can't mention his name, but if you do a Wikipedia, you probably find out what his name is. So the guy who wrote all of these, he wrote Mirai Millennium and uh, we'll be able to announce how it's going to be released. It's uh, now what's like a light novel. Uh, it's actually written as a 13 episode anime. Anime kind of costs a lot of money. And uh, yeah, it costs a lot of money. So we will be like rolling out in like uh, different ways uh, to get the story out to you. So I think we're going to do some like, photos with my cosplayers. But listen, let's do that at the end. Let's do that at the end. So I'd like to talk about uh, Moikana. Is that what So Moikana. So Moikana is a Japanese learning product which I've brought out. Uh, it was actually last, not this June, but the June before. And uh, it's a set of really cute cards which help you um, learn hiragana. So you need to know hiragana to uh, effectively uh, speak Japanese. And we have like folks uh, around the world who uh, use um, hiragana to, uh, we use Moikana to uh, learn Japanese. And then it only makes sense to bring out uh, the follow-up product, which is called Moe Kanji. Okay, there you go, Moe Kanji. So Moe Kanji is a set of, uh, it's about 80 cards, and it contains a first grade uh, Japanese uh, kanji uh, to help you learn uh, Japanese. So again, they have like, really cute uh, illustrations, all illustrated by Iku Sensei. This is my favorite card over here. Is that really cute? How is that? I better move on before I get in trouble. And, uh, but, lots of um, cute characters over here. And so, Moi Kanji, we have Moi Kanji right now at, the, uh, at our booth over here, and Moi Kana at the AFA booth. And this is the Japanese learning uh, world which we have built. And there's going to be like much more, uh, more fun ways to learn Japanese uh, from our line of Moe Kana and Moe Kanji. Very soon. What's next? Aha. Uh -huh. We'll talk about some collaborations really quickly. Quick time check. So, this is uh, a Kinokuriya version of uh, Mirai chan. Over here. Be very sweet indeed. Okay. She's got a hoge. Does this the right work? Uh, oh no, it's there. It's kind of just about works. Ahoge over there, and uh, so Kinokuni brought the cardboard cutout, which is at the booth, but the Ahoge fell off. Uh, so Mirajan is very kawaii, so. But if you go to uh, KLCC uh, in um, Kuala Lumpur, there's a um, Moi, uh, I was going to say Moi kind of shop. There's a Kinokuni store, and it's got like a um, window filled with our uh, bits and pieces. So if you've got time, can I go another? So uh, Kinokuni and I have worked together to put uh, this. Privileged cards together. 
So not only do you feel privileged, but you get to get discounts on the books as well. So they're actually taking um, registrations for this card at their booth. They had 100 in the morning, I'm not too sure if they've got any left. Uh, but um, if they don't, then just go beat them up. And um, I'm sure they'll magically produce some. This card over here would be very good. Alright, so we're going to talk about Mirai MMT. And uh, so we made this a uh, MMT model. So it's basically a 3D model and uh, it's sort of given out free to people on the internet and they make like dancing videos. And we have this April Fools um, in, uh, this year. So we, do, we like April Fools, we like lying to people. So uh, we said we were going to do a concert called Mira Musical and, and we didn't do it. But um, we instead we gave away this model here. And so people can like make their own concerts. And we're going to have a quick look at one of the videos. It's a Shingeki no Mirai-chan, yeah. So I'm going to have some water and I'm, playing, I'm going to play a video of what people have been doing with these Mirai and MD models.